Hi guys, so welcome to another episode of Miss Goody's Kitchen. On this episode, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a shrimp rasta pasta. So, I have my shrimp here that I seasoned with some cayenne pepper, some garlic, some powder, um, some garlic powder, some pepper. I'm gonna add this to the pan. My fire, I'm gonna put it on medium high. And the shrimp, you can see that on the other side it's already light orange. So when it's fully in orange, that's where you can flip it over on the other side. While that's going, I'm gonna go over some of the other ingredients that I have. So I have some pasta that's already cooked. It's like almost there, boiling. Then I have my sliced peppers, my sliced onions, some cheese, some milk, some brown sugar, some jerk seasoning, and some heavy cream. Okay, so now I'm gonna check my shrimp. And you see that color, how it has that beautiful sand with the seasoning. That's the color that you want. That's how you know that the shrimp is cooked. If you ever come across shrimp and it's still like a gray color, then it's not cooked. And we wanna make sure that our, our shrimp is fully cooked. So, so for me, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna quick, quickly cook my shrimp on each side and I'm gonna remove it. And then when I'm making my sauce, the jerk sauce, I'm gonna add the shrimp back into it. That's the color that you want. That's how you know that the shrimp is cooked. I'm not gonna overcook it because when I put it in the sauce, it's gonna be continued cooking. If you have shrimp and if you cook it too much, it will be very, very rubbery and very chewy. And that's not something you want. So again, it's orange on each side so you know that it's cooked, but we're not gonna keep cooking it. We're gonna remove it from the fire and put it in this bowl. And we're gonna start cooking our other peppers. So now we're gonna quickly saute our peppers and onions. And I have my pan on high. To that, I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic powder and some onion powder. Anytime I'm making a recipe and I'm adding separately to it, I like to season each component. So I'm gonna season the shrimp, I'm gonna season the peppers, and I'm gonna season the sauce. So that when it comes all together, it's not bland. So I'm gonna go ahead and strain my pasta. When I get back, we're gonna make the sauce and combine all the ingredients. All right guys, so I sauteed the peppers, the shrimp, all in one pot. And now I'm gonna use the milk to deglaze the pot. Perfect. So in addition to the milk, I'm gonna add some heavy cream. Equal parts of heavy cream and equal parts of milk. So we want to let that simmer. I'm going to put my pan on a high heat and just give that a quick stir. So we're going to leave that and let that simmer. When that simmers, then we're going to add in our cheese, our jerk sauce, our brown sugar, and then the rest of our shrimp and peppers. All right guys, so now that our, our heavy cream and milk mixture is to a simmer, now we can start by adding the rest of our ingredients. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in the cheddar and mozzarella cheese. And 
And then you see the cheese melting. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just wix that all in. So we're gonna make it like a cheese sauce. But then we're gonna level up. You see how thick that is? It's like a thick cheese sauce. And then all the seasoning that was on the pan already that we did we deglazed, that's in there as well. So let me turn my fire down so I can really control where this is going. So now I'm gonna add some jerk seasoning. The jerk seasoning is not just for spice, but it's also flavor. So if it's too spicy, me, I'm using the mild. So with the mild one, I feel like you really can add in more opposed to with the spicy. So if you can't really take heat that much, but you still want the flavor, then choose mild jerk seasoning. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of brown sugar. I have like a lump here that I'm just gonna throw in. And what the sugar does is it really just evens it all out. It makes it like, the cheese could be a little bit like sharp. So the sugar is gonna make it all come together and just even out the flavor. So now I'm gonna let this sauce simmer a bit and I'm gonna grab a spoon and give it a taste. I'll be right back. Mm. Very rasta pasta very spicy. So I'm gonna add a little bit more brown sugar in there to help even out the spice. And then I'm gonna stir it so that there's no lump. So now to this mixture, I'm gonna add a little bit of everything in. I'm gonna add some of the bell peppers, some of the pasta, and more importantly, the shrimp. I'm gonna get some pieces of shrimp in there. And this is what I was talking about when I said to make sure the shrimp is orange or, you know, mostly cooked on both sides. But again, we're going to add it back into the sauce because I don't want you guys to cook it, cook it so long. And then when it's time to go inside the sauce, it gets rubbery. So whenever I'm cooking like a pasta in a sauce, I like to slowly add the pasta into the sauce to make sure that there's enough sauce for all of the pasta. No one wants like a dry pasta. So now, we're gonna just fold that all together. So you have your sauce, you have your peppers, you have your onions, you have your shrimp. All right, so now that that's all together, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna taste it because we added the pasta to the rest of the ingredients. I wanna make sure that the flavor is still there. So we're just gonna give this a taste. Very good. And you could, it's pretty spicy, but then it's sweet. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic powder to it. And again, you always wanna taste the finished product and then adjust the seasoning according to your liking. All right guys, so we're back. So now I'm gonna show you guys the finishing product of our shrimp rasta pasta. So now you can see everything is all combined. You have the cheese with the peppers, the onions, the sauce. And then I'm gonna take the shrimp and put that right on top as well. And then we have some chopped parsley. Also, you can put it inside the pot as well. It looks beautiful that way. And mix that up. So let me grab a fork and I'll be right back for a tasting. 
Oh, we're back. Guys, I'm like so excited about this rasta pasta, this shrimp rasta pasta recipe. Um, you guys know what to do. Try it at home. Like, comment, subscribe, and then get back to me. Let me know how your recipe went. Also, make sure you visit MissGoodiesKitchen.com for the full recipe. I'll see you guys next time on Miss Goodies Kitchen.